it's Kales, and I'm coming at you with my July TBR to be read pile one. That being said, let's get started. Two of the books that I have on my TBR list I don't actually have with me. They're coming in a book outlet order. And one of them is Shatter Me! I'm finally gonna start the series! I'm so excited! Everybody keeps talking about it. I gotta hear what Warner's all about. And it's gonna be turned into a TV series show soon. So, yay! I'm topping on that bandwagon. And yay! It's coming in the mail soon! Woohoo! The other book that's coming in my book outlet haul that I want is Big Fish. I am in love with this movie. And I've never gotten the book. And so now I finally bought the book and I want to read it because I want to see if it's as good as the movie because I'm seriously in love with that movie. It's my favorite Tim Burton movie and I'm not a big fan of Tim Burton really, but Big Fish is wonderful. The musical is okay in my opinion, but I really need to go back to the source and read the book itself. Big Fish, if you don't know what it's about, it's a father and son relationship as the son goes through a bunch of stories that his father told him and it's very metafictional with magical realism and a bunch of awesome, cool things tied into it and it's really a great movie. Gotta see if it's a great book. Next on my TBR list, if you had watched my June wrap-up video, you should guess this one's coming and that is The Elite and The One by Kira Cass. I'm determined to try and finish this series. Really, I am. I wasn't so excited about the selection, but I had been promised that the series is different and it ends differently and just is about different things. I don't think America Singer becomes any less annoying, so if I can get through her, I think this one might be one I actually enjoy. Next on my list is kind of a cool thing I'm doing, and I've been rereading the Harry Potter series, but I haven't been putting them really on my TBR. However, I'm very excited because I got my boyfriend to read the Harry Potter series for the first time ever. What? He just finished The Prisoner of Azkaban, therefore he's on The Goblet of Fire, therefore I'm going to be joining him and rereading Harry Potter and The Goblet of Fire this month. I'm excited, even though I know these books like cover to cover, back to front, upside down, and all over. I'm really, really good at Harry Potter trivia. I'm still gonna take the time, actually sit down and reread them, not just listen to the audiobooks, but actually read it and use my brand new set, which I'm very excited for because these covers are beautiful and they all line up and make Hogwarts it's just pretty. Next on my list is the book that I'm reading now, continuing off of my nonfiction kick, and that is Monologue by John Max, which is kind of this look at late night comedy late night television and seeing like what makes America laugh and he's been writing for Jay Leno for like 22 years and he's been a comedy writer he's written like 14 Oscars shows and like the Golden Globes and the Emmys and all this stuff and he's written for politicians and he's wonderful and I can't believe I've never really heard of him before I am currently reading this one right now and I'm really really enjoying it so far I think it's very informative and really interesting and you guessed it it's gonna be funny oh I completely forgot about my TBR jar Ugh. As you noticed that last month, I didn't read Bloodlines. Because when my reaction is this... Bloodlines. Oh no! It's not really a book that I want to read. Every time that I don't read a book on my TBR jar list, I have to get rid of it. So, bye bye Kind of nervous for this again. I don't know what we're gonna get. For those of you who don't know, these are all the books that I own that I haven't read. And I have to read one a month before I buy any more books. And I, I, by the way though, last month I read Hyper Bowl and a Half, which was on this list, so like I still could buy books as long as I read at least one. But if I don't want to read it like I didn't want to read Bloodlines, then I just get rid of it. Picking you. Oh yay! This one is continuing on my nonfiction kick. This is Always Looking Up by Michael J. Fox. This is called Always Looking Up by Michael J. Fox, The Adventure of an Incurable Optimist. I'm excited for this one because it'll actually continue on my nonfiction kick. Woohoo! If you want to give me any of your opinions on them, no spoilers, and, or any books that you want to read as well, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to talk to you guys about it. Until next time, bye bye! Come back here, books. Six, seven, the invisible books. Invisible books. <laughs>